Hello and welcome to this look at making uh, Cosmic Traveler RPG uh, maps with Worldographer. I'm Joe Wetzel, the creator of the software program. And uh, what you see in front of you is just a blank map uh, or a blank uh, window of Worldographer when it's just been opened. To create your Cosmic uh, map, we're going to actually create a new World Kingdom map now. We're just not going to use uh, some of the functionality to pull this off. And we're going to kind of use some other less used features to pull this off. We're going to go, uh, once we, once we uh, click that, we're, we'll get our screen here. And in this case, we're going to do all one terrain, and we'll set it to cosmic stars. Now, we could do a cosmic nebula, which is going to, just going to give you a, a purplish uh, color to it, which is good for some, some star maps, but probably not for the traveler maps. They don't really use that effect, but if you, if you like it, you can. And if you're printing for, uh, if you're planning to print the maps, you might want to use the inverted versions instead of the basic cosmic stars, because then you'll get a white map with just uh, uh, just some some black dots that kind of represent the the stars off further into space. But anyway, so if we just take that, uh, none of these other things is really going to matter uh, because it's not going to be generating a world. We're going to be just using the one terrain. Hexes high and wide. This is how large do you want your map to be in a number of hexes. Um, you can change this to whatever you want now, although if you're using just the free version, you're not able to expand an existing map, whereas um, with Worldographer's Pro version up here on the tools menu is an option for you to uh, add additional columns or rows of hexes. The hex height and width uh, doesn't really matter. You can always change that uh, as you're using the, the program. Um, this is just kind of the default values to give you a, a perfectly uh, proportional hex, uh, hexagon. So we'll hit generate map and it's just going to give us our blank map here. Now I would go into the grid, configuring the grid down here with this gear icon and I would give myself a grayish border between the hexes so you can kind of see them a little bit and I'll also zoom in a little bit. Um, so the, the, the heart of the matter here with creating your, your traveler style maps is our features and you would filter by cosmic because you don't want to see all the other things and even within cosmic there's really only a couple that you need to use here that would be important for um, these this style of map and that, that's really just your star uh, star points here. Um, the the, uh, the white one represents uh, in the Traveler RPG maps no water being present in this star system and the blue one is that water is present in that star system. Um, you also would want to turn off something here and I've already turned it off. This use similarly named features when dragging to place them. If that's on you might uh, randomly get some of the other similarly named icons instead. And that's useful for a worldographer when you're plopping down a bunch of mountains and you don't want all the mountains to look identical and you've got mountain A, B, C, and D. And so you want some variety. So even though you've picked mountain A, you might want to see a couple of B, C, and D in there. Um, and in this case, we've got cosmic star A, B, C, and D. So we, we, we don't want that functionality so we can just leave this here so it's really just a matter of select the one you want and plop it down on the map uh, oh add ring was set on from from previous use of the program um, so this toggle allows you to have a colored ring around that and that's important for traveler in that you um, uh, in that those uh, red rings represent systems that are off limits and there's also yellow and orangish rings um, which represent other factors uh, maybe not quite as off limits but you should still stay away or not quite as dangerous uh, whatever the case might be we also had uh, override color on which actually changes the color of the actual icon so with this on even if i select this white icon it's going to be colored as blue so if i undo that and turn this off, now I will get a white icon. Okay, so that's what that does. And that's just there in case if we didn't have the all the colors that you wanted for that particular star system, although in this case, uh, really only the blue uh, and the white ones are used, again, if water is present or not. Um, but perhaps if you're doing some other uh, RPG, cosmic RPG, then maybe you, you do need some additional variety there. And so you've got it with 
this color selector, which kind of goes off the screen, but you get the idea. It gives you a bunch of uh, color swatches, swatches, and then on the bottom is a custom color selector as well. Um, let's see. Talking about some of these other controls over here. Um, yeah, so we would just plop down several of these, and actually I'm going to do that override of the color. I'm going to do a couple more water systems here, and I'll do... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to undo all that. I'm going to undo them all, because I can. Um, I'm going to get down here. There, there's another important thing to talk about. So uh, we can add a label, and so here I'm just calling it Terra. And uh, we didn't see that show up because we had this checkbox unchecked. So feature labels. So these are called feature labels because these are features. These icons are all called features in the program. And this is a label for it. And it's kind of tied to it. Um, so now that we've got that on, we will see it. Um, and it's in the style of the city, which if you want to configure that, you can do that from the labels drawer and you can pull this up here. And by default, it's actually black and we changed it to white prior to starting this, this demo here. Um, so you can, you can change that to whatever color you might want, want it to be. Um, but that, that lets you do that. But the other really important thing or the, 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 to, to pull off the effect of the traveler style maps are these feature decorations. These feature decorations are symbols that are on the outskirts of the hexagon and they just symbolize if there's a naval base somewhere or a scout base, uh, uh, a research station, a prison, anything along those lines. And so we can check it on and then we can pick the, the symbol that we want. So for example, a, a solid diamond, if I copy that and paste it here and give it a position. So that diamond is generally like in the seven or eight o'clock position usually. And then I can pick another one. Oh, another one is we have the um, uh, a planet classification starport type uh, symbol and that might be a letter code. So it might be A, B, C, D, E. Um, and that's at the top. So that goes at the 12 o'clock position. It's also in white. So um, another one is a, a star. So we can copy that star, check that on. Um, and the star would mean like an Imperial Naval base. Uh, and those generally go up in the 10 or 11 o'clock position. And you get the idea. You can add several of these symbols. And these symbols are are all used, uh, again, to signify all these things about the star system. Um, so now I can plop that down, and I've got that system in place. Now Terra kind of merges in a little bit too much with uh, the rest of that. So to, to change that, again, with the label, I can increase the distance, and I can push that further away. Um, and then I can do another one. So now I've got um, maybe uh, I don't want to override the color. Maybe I do want it to be just the white white style so i go white uh, so then we're placing a new one here and uh maybe this time there is no none of these instead maybe there's a in this case and we've got an x to represent a prison and uh, those generally go looking off to the side here for a reference on that where do those go? I've not seen it, so I'm just going to arbitrarily put it down in the twelve, uh, the, the six o'clock position down on the bottom. And um, we can give this one another one. Um, just give it some other name here. And we can put this one here. And so we've got that. Um, and just for just for one more we'll just throw in another one and we'll call this neptune because it's just popping into my mind and well it's neptune so it's got to be a water planet and uh we're going to put a, a a ring around it we'll add the ring and we will put back on this but we'll turn that off and that'll be our other one so you got that so so that's uh that, that's half the battle with creating your your traveler style uh, sector cosmic map type thing um and i think that we covered all the basics to let you pull off that effect um i would i guess i'd add um 
Yeah. So then it's, it's kind of time to go on to the shapes because the shapes will give us uh, ways to show where there's um, uh, traffic lanes uh, between places. So I can go to a line and I can pick the line to be, say, a green. And I am going to turn this off. I'll get to that in a moment. But you want to leave uh, snap points to grid on or turn it on if it's not on because that's going to let you, uh, that's going to snap your line from uh, the center of your hexes. Or if you're not quite in the center, it might do uh, one quarter of the way across, one half, uh, three quarters, and all the way across as well as up and down. Um, so if you're not quite, you know, so here we didn't quite get it. So I can control Z and and then click again to get it. And that shows that we've got some traffic between those, those uh, locations. Um, and then finally, the other line type to show is this time I'm going to do a polygon. And if we want to mark out the, a region of space controlled by one faction or another, uh, we can do that as well. And I can pick a, a blue in this case. And so I've got polygon set to on and um, I can just draw the points of my polygon. And I could do this as a line too if I prefer, either way. Now there's a bunch of other controls on here. You can try them out. Most of them you won't need. Um, you could though play around with the way that your lines join and, and that sort of stuff if you want to. And uh, it, as you see, I mean, it's just a matter of taking a little bit of time to click these points to give ourselves this. But, you know, if I don't like that, or if I think that that's too time consuming, uh, another feature that we've got, so if I, deselect the current line so I can go ahead and create a new one. Another cool thing about this is if we put this add tile border to polygon back on, this is actually going to let us draw a polygon by just clicking on the hexes. And it's going to grow, um, grow the polygon to match just by doing a click. And if I click in an in inside of uh, uh, the, the, the polygon already, it's going to remove that particular hex. So uh, that's kind of nice, kind of quick way to do this. Um, don't you, you don't want to create like a, a big hole and then fill this in or else your lines are going to go all, all haywire and you're going to undo or maybe perhaps even have to redo the whole uh, shape. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty quick and easy. So I can add that one, but I, I, I couldn't add this one or else it's going to go haywire on me. Um, so that covers uh, doing that. And if I wanted to go and do a new one, I can do control D to deselect that one and then Perhaps I have another star system down here, or another faction down here, and so on. I think that covers it. Um, uh, then we talked about putting down the features and how to customize all the symbols around it and how to add the lines and the feature labels and to check this box on so that the feature labels are showing and how to configure the feature labels by using the, the gear button next to the labels here or on the labels drawer. You also have that up here. You can go to configure label styles and that would do the same thing for you. Um, we talked about uh, the feature decorations and overriding the colors uh, on the features drawer right here, adding the rings. We talked about doing the lines for the shapes when we did a line for showing the, the uh, uh, travel routes. And then we also showed making a polygon and a couple of different ways to do the polygons here. So I think that covers it. So again, uh, I'm Joe Wetzel. This was Worldographer and how to make traveler cosmic star sector maps uh, using Worldographer. And I hope that the tool allows you to make some really great maps. Thanks.